Physical activity keeps us healthy and happy. In addition to lowering our risks for serious health problems, it also helps us feel more relaxed, sleep better, and helps our brain work better too. Different types of exercises target to varying degrees different parts of the body, such as the heart and lungs of the cardiovascular system and the skeletal system including the skeletal muscles, bones, and joints. What comes to your mind when you think of exercise? Most people think of running, biking, swimming. These are all activities that fall under the category of aerobic exercise. It works to increase our endurance by making the heart muscles stronger and the heart and the lungs work together better. Say Will is running along the beach. He notices that his heart is pumping faster and that he is breathing faster. The longer he runs, the faster his heart beats. What is happening? As he runs, he needs more oxygen to make more energy to fuel his muscles. In order to get more oxygen, he breathes faster and his heart beats faster to pump more blood to fuel the muscles. The more we do aerobic exercise, the stronger our cardiovascular system becomes and the better our heart and lungs work together. In addition, calories are burned during aerobic exercise. Bicycling burns about 540 calories per hour, jogging burns about 530, and running burns about 650. Experts recommend at least 20 minutes of aerobic exercise three times a week to stay healthy. How intense should it be? We can use the heartbeat as a measure of the intensity, as approximation is to bring the heart rate up to 70 to 80% of the maximum heart rate, which is approximated to be a 220 minus one's age. In Will's case, he is 14, therefore his maximum heart rate is 220 minus 14 or 206. Now 70 to 80 percent of 206 is about 144 to 165 BPM or beats per minute. Recent scientific studies have also suggested that aerobic exercise helps learning and memory. Another type of exercise strengthens our skeletal system such as strength and power training. It is often referred to as anaerobic exercise. This type of exercise builds strength and or bulk of skeletal muscles and helps bone rebuilding and joint health. While aerobic exercise strengthens our heart muscle, weightlifting or resistance band training strengthens our skeletal muscles. Will wants to impress others with his physique, so he starts lifting weights to bulk up his skeletal muscles. He goes to the gym and starts curling a dumbbell to work his biceps. He lifts the dumbbell repetitively until he cannot lift it up anymore. The next day his bicep is so sore that he can barely use it. However, within a few days it gets better and he can lift even more than he previously could. What happens here? When he starts to work his muscles by lifting weight he is not used to, he actually tears some of his muscle fibers called micro tears. This is why he feels pain. It takes a few days to repair. Another reason he feels pain is the accumulation of lactic acid in the muscles. This goes away within a day or so. As he continues to lift weight, he increases the weight or repetition slowly so as not to cause injuries while increasing his muscle bulk and strength at a safe and reasonable pace. One caution is never to use weights that are too heavy to bear to avoid injuries. Will uses weights or resistance bands not only to strengthen his biceps, but also to strengthen the other skeletal muscles of his body. It helps him to maintain a healthy weight. Muscle uses more energy, therefore more calories than fat. So it helps him burn up more of the calories from eating, which he loves. It increases his metabolic rate up to 15%. This happens even when he is just sitting or sleeping. All of these exercises help bone and joint health. Bones are con In fact, in some schools, students are required to do jumping jacks for a few minutes before classes start. Will enjoys different types of sports and exercises regularly to keep himself healthy, happy, and looking good.